<laughs> Justice President Obama <laughs> has told us that if you hate your health, if you love your health care plan, you can keep it. <laughs> and that a small anti-Muslim video caused the Benghazi terrorist attacks. <laughs> In the same way, he's not telling the truth about publicly claiming that he wants to stop Iran from getting nuclear weapons. <laughs> One, he didn't allow a vote on sanctions against Iran <laughs> for over a year when they were first proposed five years ago. <laughs> He's tried to weaken <laughs> or stop votes on them in the future. <laughs> he allowed uh, uh, over a dozen countries to be exempt from the sanctions to weaken the impact of the sanctions. <laughs> now he's asking to not have any further sanctions even though Iran hasn't stopped for one minute, not one second, in trying to move toward nuclear weapons. <laughs> he appointed uh, a Secretary of Defense, uh, Hegel, <laughs> for the last decade has publicly pronounced we should have no military action or economic action <laughs> sanctions against Iran. That's who he appoints the Secretary of Defense. <laughs> <laughs> both Hegel and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton have <laughs> both called for containment rather than stopping Iran <laughs> from nuclear weapons, but to contain them once they get it, <laughs> which uh, makes it clear that this must be really what Obama is feeling behind the scenes. <laughs> and he's appointed Tom Pickering to the Iran project to advise him on Iran, <laughs> a man who says that we should have no covert actions, no sanctions, and no military action against Iran. <laughs> and when we had a chance to get rid of Ahmadinejad years ago when there were rallies in the streets against him President Obama unlike his demanding that Mubarak of Egypt be thrown out he said with respect to Ahmadinejad it's an eternal matter it's not our business <laughs> and he's ignored the fact that only a few weeks ago the supreme leader of Iran Khamenei <laughs> has condemned America, <laughs> said we support any anti-American actions, <laughs> and uh, has ignored the fact that three weeks ago there were rallies of hundreds of thousands of Iranians with signs screaming death to America with two new anti-American songs being sung repeatedly at these rallies. <laughs> it is clear that Obama is not serious about stopping Iran. He's clearly comfortable with them getting nuclear weapons. <laughs> and even though he's telling us, if you hate Iranian nuclear miss weapons, don't worry, you won't have to endure that. That's another falsehood that President Obama is implying. <laughs> These are the types of things we're going to talk about uh, at our ZOA dinner this weekend, uh, November 24th. <laughs> the lineup of former presidential candidate <laughs> Governor Mike Huckabee, <laughs> Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, <laughs> uh, major philanthropist uh, Sheldon Adelson. <laughs> We'll be talking uh, about this uh, incredible danger <laughs> to American Israel from nuclear weapons, <laughs> especially making it clear <laughs> that um, uh, U.S. intelligence <laughs> is showing that Iran is developing intercontinental ballistic missiles with a nuclear warhead that could hit America within two years. It's a very serious issue. <laughs> With respect to the Palestinian Authority, <laughs> for five years, Mahmoud Abbas wouldn't even sit down and have negotiations, <laughs> which shows they have no interest in peace. <laughs> Their official emblem of the party of Abbas <laughs> shows all of Israel <laughs> with an Arab kafi over it. <laughs> and a Kalishnikov rifle next to it with a big picture of Arafat. <laughs> That's not the emblem you use if you're serious about peace. <laughs> Every map in the Palestinian Authority shows not Israel, but Palestine with an uh, Arab headdress over all of what should be labeled Israel. <laughs> They continue to promote hatred and violence against Israel and Jews in their media, in their schools, in their speeches, in their children's camps. They regularly name schools, streets, and sports teams after Jew-killing terrorists. And when these terrorists die, they have days commemorating them, celebrating them, honoring them. This is not... A, 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 a regime that is committed to peace. And if they really are upset about uh, Jews building homes in Judea and Samaria, <laughs> which, by the way, they haven't built any, not a single new settlement, new community since Oslo began. They're building these homes within the boundaries of the old communities. <laughs> if we really wanted Israel to stop building in the areas that they don't like, 
they should make a deal. Once the border is defined, Israel won't build past that border. So negotiations and a deal is the way you get Israel to stop building in areas you claim you don't want. <laughs> but their goal is not a deal. Their goal is Israel's destruction. <laughs> And, and that is uh, crystal clear. And it saddens me that President Obama has publicly said <coughs> that Ju American Jewish leaders <coughs> should search their souls to see if we're serious about peace. He doesn't think we are. He said Mahmoud Abbas, of the Palestinian Authority, is sincere about peace. That's what uh, President Obama told us at a White House meeting uh, only in the past year or so. So President Obama has not been helping the situation to try and end the Arab war against Israel.